Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from matsbits.co.uk. In this tutorial I'll show how you can add new brushes to the GIMP. You can download the GIMP for free from gimp.org by clicking the download button. So let's take a look at the default brushes in the GIMP. I'm just going to quickly create a new image and we can access the brushes by selecting the brush tool and selecting a brush from this dialog here. So let's pick one there. And then by left clicking, we can add the brush. Or we can drag and draw with the brush. And by changing the palette color, we can change the color of the brush. And I can also change brushes from within the layers and channels panel here. So there's a few different choices to choose from and you can use this scale control to change the size of your brush. There we go. But you may want to add extra brushes to this panel here and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing to do is to close down the GIMP. I'm not going to save that. So let's close. And then what I suggest you do is to go to a website called deviantart.com, which is there. And in the search box, type GIMP brushes. And this will give you a large collection of different brush packs you can download. There's lots and lots in there and there's all sorts of weird and wonderful things. So what you do is you choose the pack you like the look of, like that one, and there's usually a bit of a description of what's in there and who's created it. And you just click the download file here and that will usually give you a zip file that contains all the brushes zipped up into a single file. And then what you need to do is to download whatever ones you want. Go to your C drive. If you're on Windows XP, you need to go into Documents and Settings. If you're on Vista or Windows 7, you need to go into Users. You then need to select the folder that represents your username. So in my case, it's Matt. And in here, you should see a .gimp-2.6 folder assuming you're using GIMP version 2.6 so go into there and you then should see a subfolder called brushes so go into there and what I've done is the zip files that I've downloaded from DeviantArt I've dumped straight into that folder now these are zip files they're not much good to us at the moment so what I need to do is to extract the contents so I'm using uh, 7-zip for this but you can use WinZip or whatever um, zip file application you use and I'm going to click extract here that's going to extract all the files I'm then going to do the same uh, for the other zip files so I'll do the fingerprints and the grass blades and finally the splatter brushes and there we go. So all the files are extracted. They usually have this extension GBR. So I'm going to end up with a collection of GBR files. I don't need those zip files anymore. So I'm going to get rid of those. They're gone. Right. Once that's done, you can now fire up the GIMP. Let it run through its startup process and launch the application. I'm just going to minimize those to get those out of the way. I'm going to create a new image just to test them. And what you should see is in your brushes panels, you should see the new brushes. So there's the dice, there's the fingerprints there's the grass blades and there's the splatters 
So what you want to do is choose a suitable colour for your brush. I'm going to choose that and select the grass pattern. And there you go. You can then use the brushes however you need to. So that's the grass. Let's change that to black and let's have a go with the fingerprints. There's the fingerprint brush. And let's just change colour again and adjust the scale and there's the dice brush. And that's simply how you do it. You download the GBR files that may well be contained within a zip file and extract them to the GIMP-2.6 folder under your username under users for Vista or Windows 7 or under documents and settings if you're using Windows XP and just make sure they go into the brushes um, folder if you want to you can create subfolders here to keep these sets in if you want to organize them a bit better what the GIMP does is it just reads uh, these GBR files even if they are inside subfolders so you can sort of organize these however you want and ultimately they just appear in these dialogues here and in this dialogue here and let's have a quick go with the splatter just to test those so I'll just quickly change the color change the scale and there we go and that is how you search for free brushes in the GIMP and add them and use them in your application. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please remember to click the like button and to share it with your friends on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.